what do you do if you have film like this, but you want to put it into an old camera like this? If you're anything like me, you like to go to antique stores, flea markets and whatnot, and you pick up these old antique cameras for just a couple bucks a piece. I have quite a few actually. And most of them are just cheap door stops, but some of them are still useful. However, they take 620 film, which hasn't been made in a long time. But 620 film is essentially just 120 film, but on a different spool. So today I'm going to show you two different ways to get the film off of the 120 spool and onto the thinner metal 620 spool so that you can use those old cameras. So the idea is to get the film off of this 120 roll and onto ultimately the 620 reel. Now clearly it's already on a 120 uh, reel. The reason why we're doing this is because these are not the same. While they hold film of the same size, the reels themselves are not. Clearly, the centers are very different diameters. That's our biggest concern. But then they're also slightly different lengths. It might be hard to see here on camera. But the 120 reel, being out of thicker plastic, is wider. It doesn't often fit in 620 cameras. And then the bit that gets um, connected to the camera to turn the film, uh, the 620 is much smaller than 120. So some cameras, it's so small that when you try to advance the film with this kind of reel, it just doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't turn because it uh, just spins around in place. So getting the film onto this, we have a couple of different methods. <clears throat> um, first thing we need to do is actually get the film off this reel and onto another empty 120 reel. So while it may seem like we need to go directly to here, actually is not true. We need to get onto here. So we can do that two different ways. Um, it's probably more than two, but I want to show you two. And as you can see, I'm using some Plus X, which this, uh, the, this one expired back in 2006. And as I mentioned before, I've got a bunch of this stuff and I don't know why, because I never shoot it. But anyway, it's in my fridge and I'm going to use it. So one way we can do this <clears throat> and probably the easiest way uh, is using a holder such as this. Now you may not already have one of these. If you do, this is handy. So what we're going to do is load the film up into a standard 120 film holder. This particular one is to get medium format onto a 4x5 camera. So just follow the directions for this, which I'm going to make a mess of on camera, because clearly I don't do this very often. Am I missing something here? Nope, this is difficult. Oh, there we go. Alright, so got it in there. Got our empty one over here. And then just turn the film. And now we start rolling. Once I'm sure the film is catching and see normally you would go to this little mark it's um, an arrow you match the arrows that's when you would start to shoot we're not going to do that now you could do this in just with the dark um, all the lights out in the dark you could just advance this and be done since I got the lights on I'm going to go ahead and close it and now I'm just going to advance until the film is all the way on the new roll. As you can see from the layer of dust on here, I don't use this very often. I 
There we go. Yeah. All right, we're all the way on. Hey, there we are. Okay. Now, do not seal it up. At this point, normally with a roll of film, you would seal it up and you're done. But we're not going to. We're going to set that aside. All we wanted to do was get that wound tightly and squarely on the other roll. Now what we need to do is to roll it onto here. So this is where we would need to turn the lights out. I am doing this with the lights on. That's so you can see it. I'm going to ruin this roll of film. No, don't ruin a roll of film that's discontinued. Yeah, I'm ruining it. That's what I'm doing. So, just gonna put that on and we're gonna roll it back up. Now, why did we not put this onto a roll of 620 to begin with? Well, it's because the film is taped to the backing paper. It's taped and that tape is going to cause us issues as we get closer to the end. What the, um, what we just did in the first place is get everything lined up here so that the tape is now on the far end of what we're doing rather than the beginning. And that's really about it. So from here, we're just going to roll and I'm just going to try to keep it taut and roll this up. Now bear in mind, I would be doing this in complete darkness if I didn't want to ruin this film. If, however, you're using a film such as um, Ilford's Orthofilm, that you could do under a dark red safe light. Okay, so here's the film right here. And you have to be careful of that. If you aren't careful, you could accidentally just roll the paper up and leave the film out of this bundle altogether. We don't want to do that. <laughs> that would defeat the entire purpose. Make sure you get the film. Okay, now we're just going to roll. If you want to be careful not to ruin anything, um, you can wear rubber gloves and you can see it's buckling the film versus the paper. That's expected. And that's because we're dealing with two different diameters of core. Not a big deal. We're going to deal with that buckle soon because I'm actually almost to the end. Here. And here's the tape. So, what we want to do with the tape when you get to the end is carefully peel it off either the film or the paper, whichever is easier for you. I'm going to do the paper if it allows me. It is 14 year old or longer, 15, 16 year old tape. I'm going to do this hopefully without unrolling all my work there. There we go. And now just roll it and it'll tape it right back down into the correct position. And that's it. Now we'll finish up. And there we are. So at this point, now that we are rolled completely on the 620 roll, nice and tight, we can safely turn the lights on. And now this is ready to either insert directly into the camera or to um, put a rubber band around it and save it for later. Now, if we uh, do not have one of these, let's take a look at what we need to do there. All right, so we are starting back with our original roll. So this is straight out of the package. We've got a spare 120 reel and we're going to put it on that ourselves. So imagine this being in complete darkness because you cannot expose the film otherwise. 
So get your leader started and then just carefully spool it on there. Um, again, you may want to consider using gloves so that you don't touch the film when you get to it. Okay, we are now starting to get to where the film will be. There we are, we got the tape. And at this point, we're gonna leave that alone, just like we did when we did it the other way. So we're just gonna roll it up. Make sure you're doing it nice and square. Get a thumb workout. Gonna make my thumb swole. And done. Okay. Now, right back where we were. Now we go back. Get everything squared up. This part at least you can do in the light. Once you start getting it here, square and tight is when you want to turn the lights out. Okay, now we go back. Something is not right here. I have a kink in my paper. Yeah. And this is the part that's hardest, making sure you don't miss the film. Because it's very easy, in the dark, to miss the film. And not realize that you're rolling the paper and only the paper. Um, and it just comes from being careful, going slow, going deliberate. All right, there we go. And there's actually very little film contact once you get it started, but since you're in the dark and you might be doing this for the first time, just precaution until you feel comfortable with it. Gosh, it is cramping my fingers up because I'm pulling it so tight as I go. In a finger cramp like when you write a letter for the first time by hand in a very long time. Okay, and we're at the end. So again, this part, gotta do in the dark. Tape off. Can you do this with an infrared viewer and light? Sure, if you have one. I don't have one. There you go. And there we go, again. I am now at the point where I would either load it into the camera or uh, just put a rubber band around it and save it for a later date. So we're gonna load this up and next time we'll go shoot with an antique camera that takes 620 film. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you've got another method that is not cheating like I just buy it from b &H, already rolled 620. So if you have another method that you use, let me know.